Oh God. <laughs> Can you imagine? No, I have goosebumps actually from that. That is insane. 106? I'm terrified and I'm 32. Well, so here's the thing. I, th I thought about it a little bit and I'm like, if I ever get to 106, yeah. if I ever get there, yeah. I'll skydive. Yeah. 100%. Did you feel like you, so my mama has this funny thing she says, she's in her 70s, and she goes, it's funny that we get more scared as we get older, because in theory, we have less like time to lose yeah. if something goes wrong. Yeah. Right. But I think I don't think that's how your mind works. So no, I think you I start think to, it, you, you know. Older, I like that there's a rivalry careful. too. Like yes. that they yeah. they're like they're going at Listen, each other. Grandma. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's keeping them alive, really. It's just like that. <laughs> a little bit of that Tom Brady, you know, vibe. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, we got a sea breeze kicked in along the coast. Pretty strong. 60 in Portland, Agunquit, 61 Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 63. Meanwhile, 75 in Freiburg and uh, 76 in Conway. New Hampshire. Temperatures are pretty uniform across central and northern Maine. Frenchville doing well, 74 degrees right now. A couple showers around. Those aren't looking all that great on radar, though, as they drift into the mountains. These are going the opposite direction that showers tend to go. Here, they're actually going to the north and west, so they'll be moving towards Jackman, towards Greenville over the next few hours, but again, they're not all that intense. Most of us partly cloudy here through the late afternoon, and that's how we'll start the evening as well. Temperatures will drop eventually to around 50, but a lot of the night is spent in the mid and upper 50s, particularly away from that coastline. Um, so it's not a bad start to the day tomorrow, but we've got a lot of cloud cover to deal with, I think, tomorrow. Temperatures struggle along the coast. I kept us actually in the 50s tomorrow along the coast because the onshore flow plus the clouds is just going to be hard. Inland, we should be able to get into the mid and maybe upper 60s, and then some showers start popping up tomorrow afternoon over western Maine through New Hampshire and eventually settling into the coastline tomorrow night. I think this is slightly overdone by this model, the amount of showers, but they'll be out there along the coast, especially tomorrow night through early Sunday morning. After that, we clear out Sunday afternoon, looks really nice. I think we'll get into, back into the 60s Sunday afternoon with some sunshine, especially later on in the day. And then we rip off three really nice days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The moisture in the clouds are just because of this low down here and a little trough that's sliding through. It's just enough of a catalyst for those showers tomorrow afternoon. But then we get rid of that, we're under a ridge Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, probably most of Thursday too. It looks like that front slowed down a bit, which is gonna help us out and allow temperatures to really rise. I think Tuesday and Wednesday, there's a lot of 80s around. And even Thursday, upper 70s to around 80 before cooling down on Friday. <clears throat> We've got a chance uh, away from the coast on Wednesday, guys, to be 85 to 87-ish, depending on your spot. You know who you are, right? The usual. Yeah. Hot spots. Freiburg. Freiburg is a good Palmish. spot. Berlin yeah. does well too. Yeah, yeah, it's a Bagel Lake area. Yeah. Um, and then we're watching that front on Thursday as it comes through cooler on Friday. But we're going to get at least, you know, we're at least three, if not four days that are really nice next week. So that's a good start. And then we'll see what happens with Memorial Day weekend as we get a little bit closer. Well, if your, you know, short sleeves and all that isn't out yet, it will be. Yeah, this, this weekend. Is push everyone, Probably. I think. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Keith.